Hi everyone, we're here at the South Lakes uh, Wild Animal Safari here in uh, Barrow in Furness. It's a bit of a wet one this morning, well this afternoon even. Uh, so, uh, but yeah, this is, this is a really lovely zoo and it's home to some really nice uh, animals as well, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, somewhere we've been uh, quite a few times here. And it's got uh, a bit of a history, but it's somewhere, a place that's on the up now. So we'll show you all the animals that are here and we'll show you all the things that are available. So, everybody excited to go and see some animals? Yeah. Do you want to see some animals? Yeah. What animals do you want to see? Monkeys. Monkey. And what do you want to see? Lemur. Lemurs and Robin. Giraffes. Giraffes. Let's go see those giraffes. <laughs> Oh, it's a horrible wet and rainy day here today. Uh, we're just coming through the main entrance. First thing you come to is uh, a large building uh, where we've got the rhinos. You can see behind us here. So let's have a look at the rhinos. There's some little facts there with the uh, rhinos. So uh, between 575 and 923 African rhino horns entered a legal trademark. That's absolutely wonderful to think. These poor creatures uh, it's often have the horns just chopped off and they're not even killed, they're just left there with the horns chopped off. It's absolutely disgusting, absolutely magnificent creatures. They're so big, they're so huge. Um, I, still, I still love watching uh, these huge massive creatures. All tucking into the hay there, looks like a little one too. Ida, what do you think about the, uh, the rhinos? Do you like the rhinos? There we are, there's a rhino there tucking into his dinner. So there's 259 rhinos killed in the first six months of 2022. Absolutely awful. Absolutely awful. This looks like there's been uh, cleaning up the poo down there. Look. That's the rhino poo down there. What do you think about rhinos, Casper? What do you think about the rhino poo? Does it smell lovely? Yeah. <laughs> Does he don't like rhinos? Why do they oh, she, there? Yeah, it's poo there, yeah. Why do they look pink when they're meant to be grey? Because of clay outside. Yeah, it's because they're all the clay outside. It makes the skin. Because what they do is they actually put that stuff on the skin as like uh, sun cream. All the mud. Also, it's just really muddy outside. So they just look like that all the time here. <laughs> uh, yes. I don't think I've ever seen these on the ground. No, they, they do always look a bit pink here. Um, yes, that's the rhinos. 451 uh, rhinos killed in South Africa in 21. Absolutely. Awful. So this, uh, so this is. So we've got the southern white uh, rhino here, and then native to uh, South America. Looking at that. Oh, sorry, South Africa. Looking at that. Oh my God! It looks like we're going to be filming mostly indoors uh, while we're here because it's absolutely uh, lashing it down outside. Uh, so the white rhinos, the population there, it's declined uh, from eighteen thousand to fifteen thousand nine there. Uh, between 18 and 21. It's a fall of 20 to 12%. Just absolutely tragic that you have these people that think that it's acceptable to uh, go and chop off uh, the magnificent horns of these rhinos uh, just for some form of illicit trade or uh, pseudo medicine. Uh, it's just absolutely barbaric, really. As we walk down here, so uh, Robin and Eden and Casper are just looking at those rhinos there. We just leave the rhinos behind as we head down here because here there is the meerkats and they've got a lovely little bit of a run down here. Let's have a look down here. So it's the slender tailed meerkats and they live in here. Uh, it might be difficult to see some of the stuff today just because the weather's absolutely awful. So hopefully uh, uh, we will see them. But I suppose we're inside so we are more likely to see them in here than anywhere else. Oh, sadly it doesn't look like we're going to be able to see any meerkats in here. Um, they have got all the toys uh, out here. They've got uh, some little balls there for them to play with, which is quite nice. They've got this really nice enclosure. It's a good size enclosure, isn't it? They have these meerkats. I quite like it. And you can see through here, there's good, there are some giraffes, which is just through the fence there. I'll just zoom in so you can see there. There's the giraffes. I'm not sure if they're real. They're, just, they're not moving. But, uh, yeah, oh, it's absolutely hammering it down. You can just hear it on the roof. But sadly, uh, we're not seeing the uh, the meerkats. They must be in their, uh, in their beds, keeping nice and warm. I'm not sure if they've gone outside, but they're probably keeping warm in the beds, which I think is just located there. But they've got a good size enclosure where we can go um, all around this part here and all the way down there as well. We've got a nice little heat lamp there, and uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's a good little enclosure for them in here. I'd say it's much better. Where's yep. the balls down there? So, that, so there's a little tunnel there because the, the, 
the meerkats can play on this side, they go up all these ramps, climb over those things, and they can go underneath the tunnel here and play with the balls and come onto this side here. The warm side. So this side, well, it could be the, could be the warm side because it's, it's got an Africa backdrop there, isn't it? I say Africa, I don't know, it's got cactuses, it's desert anyway. Desert is actually a desert. It is a desert, isn't it? It could be anywhere. Okay. Alright, Toto. <laughs> um, yeah, so that is uh, this area. So that's the, the core dolphin giraffe. There are quite a few different types of giraffes. And you have a number of experiences that you can get here as well. So you can actually feed the giraffes. I can't remember how much it is. We have done it. Do you remember how much it was to feed the giraffes? I think it was about, it wasn't much, was it? Yeah, it's about £15 for a feed the giraffe experience, which is, which is really good. I mean, I, I love giraffes. Robin loves giraffes. They're Robin's favourite. So, um, yeah, let's go find some more stuff. I probably won't be filming much outside because the uh, weather's absolutely awful. But, yeah, let's go find some more animals. Hopefully they'll all be inside today. Absolutely awful weather. So you can just see, uh, we're, we're down a little enclosure for the outside area for the rhinos here. And it is um, absolutely lovely. I mean, they're focused very much on conservation, which is, I mean, animals in captivity is not really my thing. I don't really uh, like it. However, uh, in terms of what they're doing here with regards to uh, the animals and saving them and protecting the species and preserving them for future uh, generations is, um, I, I, I really uh, support that, I have to say. And here you can see some, uh, I think they're gravy zebras, they're called those. I really like that. A little bit like horses in pajamas, aren't they? There they are, wagging the tails. Eden's having a good time there. <laughs> Here's Frog Boy Casper. Frog Boy Casper's there. One of the things they do have here, they have a, um, uh, a little safari bit that you can actually walk through with all sorts of lemurs and kangaroos and stuff that you can get up close to and you can actually feed them as well. And for the feed, it's about two pounds. There they are, there's some zebras right there. Oh, absolutely awful. <laughs> I have to go inside, I think. So because it's horrible weather, a lot of the animals are actually in. So the lemurs, you can see some ring-tailed lemurs which are just uh, up there on the little uh, shelf there. And there's a bear which is just inside his little cave. And another one which is just there. So, it's like, so they're all hugging each other. I mean, it's quite nice because this, this is a new cafe that's actually in here where you can actually eat your food. Uh, order it from over there and you can uh, look at all the animals that are in here. See, normally you, you actually walk through the attraction that's got all of the lemurs and you get up close and personal with them. Um, but unfortunately, it, the weather's awful, so they're actually uh, uh, nestled away in the nice and dry today. So now into the actual safari area. So this here, you can see some black howler monkeys are in this area you can get close up to. So that's just the other side of the area where we just were before. Um, so we've got some uh, lemurs, they were all in there, we're not going to see them at the moment. There's a red roofed lemur as well. Oh, so it wasn't a red panda in there, Casper, it was a lemur. Uh, the Andean bear, so they're both inside there, so we're not going to see them either. Oh, it's absolutely awful weather, I don't blame them all for being inside. There's plenty of ostriches and emus that are all in here though. Oh, no. oh look at these. <laughs> That's right, yes, we've got some ringtail lemurs, which is the most common sort that we always see. I don't know if seen Madagascar, I know uh, that. We've got some uh, white fronted brown lemurs, red rough lemurs, and some black, uh, some belted black and white rough lemurs. All with their own uh, uh, certain things that make them endangered as well. It's a shame they're all inside because this, this whole area where we are is a safari area, so there's a big path that runs around. I don't really want to go outside because it's so please, rainy. Please. But um, and normally you get lemurs running across these fence lines here and you get really up close personal with them. There is a lemur that's down there actually, I feel quite sorry for him. Um, he's not gone in. I hope he's alright. Oh, he's he's, he's alright, he's moving, he's moving. I'm not quite sure why he's just left there on his own, poor thing. But um, he's obviously... They've got, see the bears have got uh, plenty of place to play over there as well, big swings. Which is quite nice. We've got all the emus and ostriches which come and harass you. And then there's normally kangaroos which are up here as well. Which is uh, which is really, really nice. Um, the other thing is because, as I was saying, everything goes orange. Which is why those rhinos were um, um, 
uh, that colour because all this water that runs off, it's all very clay and then it makes everything orange, which is why the rhinos were orange. So the only thing is, because uh, these paths have actually been re done recently, but um, you, you do get quite muddy on here. I mean, as you can see from my shoes already, just uh, walking around here, they've got, started to go a bit orange. Right, uh, we'll have a look around here. My camera's starting to get a bit waterlogged, so uh, I'll just put it away again. Here are the capybaras. These are a really cute creature, I really like these. So they're wandering, they're roaming around here as well, so you could, if they came close enough, you can give them a bit of a stroke as well. Um, yeah, it's really, really nice. I do like all this getting up close and the interactive experiences that you get with the... Uh, is she enjoying it? <laughs> hey, it's so rainy, isn't it? Um, yeah, I mean, there's the ostriches stood right in the middle of the path that we've got to get past there. So they're probably going to attack us. So, oh, but I feel sorry for them. I, I think that he should actually be the other side of that fence because just down there, there's a gate. Uh, that you go through down there, which where those people are stood, um, and that's normally where they are. I don't think I've actually seen him in uh, a capybaras in this area before. I think he's got a bit stuck. Bless him. Yeah, I, I, I hope he's not. He's not stuck, and I hope he get, manages to get back to where he needs to be soon. Um, yeah, let's go and check out some more stuff that's around here. So there's a sign saying they've got the capybaras on. They're all steamed up. It's absolutely awful here. See some ibises. This is absolutely lovely though, any other time to walk through these paths and just have all the animals roaming free around you and just go up to them and feed them. It's really, really good for in terms of an interactive experience. It really is. And I think Eden's having a good time as well. So here are, this is the birdhouse. How's a load of uh, macaws and parrots are in here? Normally you can actually walk through there. It's a little bit of an interactive path and you can uh, get close and personal with the uh, uh, with the parrots which normally just sit on the uh, um, little uh, posts around the actual enclosure. Uh, unfortunately, due to the uh, avian bird flu risk, avian, bird, avian flu risk, uh, that's actually closed at the moment. You can normally go into there as well and they just have some snakes and stuff in there as well. Uh, sadly that's not open today um, due to the bird flu. Hopefully it'll uh, reopen soon and you'll be able to get up close to these birds. But you can see them from here. There's a little uh, bird there on say hello. And you can just make out, if you can see on here, uh, there is a macaw, really bright there. Oh, it is blurry, but let's try and make it. Let's see. Uh, I can't see. But yeah, they are they are in there, I assure you. So staying in Safari Park here, this, you can see that they've still got loads of uh, area for the lemurs to be able to climb up, and they can go up across these ropes up here, and they've got massive areas to go across. And there's also, uh, some of them are quite big, and they tend to all congregate around here on these benches as well. So if you sat on there normally, it's, it's quite good for feeding them on there. In fact, there's a lemur coming here now as we speak. So there's one. There he is. He's on that little bit of a wall there. Don't run at him, Casper. Don't want to scare him. So he's run out. So that's just an example. So there is one out. That's just nice. There's another one coming now. So if we walk down here, we'll be able to see them all come. So here they are. So here's all the lemurs. I think there might be more coming out now as we come down here because uh, as the rain's easing up they might be coming outside so there's uh, some peacocks as well a peacock a couple of peacocks and a peahen as well which is uh, which is nice i thought there might be some more i think i think that might have been all the lemurs that have come out there what do you think there's the peacocks Oh. I think you have to watch out for here is because all the animals roam free. You just have to watch out because they, uh, they poo that? anywhere and everywhere. So uh, that's a big thing you got to watch out for here. So uh, you see where the uh, uh, that's where the lemurs have come out from for here, and we'll go inside and have a look at the enclosures. <laughs> Sorry for the lemur <laughs> feed now. You can see there's, there's, a, there's a pay for uh, upcharge where you can actually go in and feed them yourself. Let's get in there. You see all the lemurs that are in there. Oh, oh Casper's a little bit scared then. Oh, I think they're all a little bit hungry. <laughs> you can just see there. I'll just come over the top. You can see one of the tails dangling down there. Aww. Do you like lemurs, Casper? They're good, aren't Let's they? Get in there. Oh, I think they're all hungry, aren't they? No, get in that 
that big. Yeah. Oh, the, the lemurs. Yeah. Um, I think they've got like a little run over the top, maybe. Oh, it's a chilly day for these lemurs, isn't it? They're all huddled together, keeping warm. I bet you wish you were doing that, Casper. Yes. Cuddling lemurs. <laughs> you love them, but you're scared of them. Go They're so cute. Yeah, I'm sitting on you at Mundomar, Casper. Yeah, it's when we went to Mundomar in Benidorm. Oh, they were, we paid oh for the experience. Look at me. They come and sit on your lap. You can feed them, which is so nice because they're absolutely gorgeous creatures. There did actually used to be a railway that ran all the way along here down to the end uh, and that's all been stoned over now and to be fair, it looks, looks a lot better Peacock just hiding there in the old station as it was uh, We never went on it when it was there but it did look quite nice but um, there's definitely been progress here and everything looks a lot better now as it, than it does And that's where they have uh, the Christmas thing where you can meet Santa up there as well so in terms of our operations today, it is actually open from 10 a.m. till 5 p.m. today. We've entered the park at around 2 p.m. because we've been uh, many times here today and we knew that we'd only need a few hours to cover everything that's here. Uh, and a couple of hours is probably about right. And uh, I have to say, it, the weather's awful, but it's great because it's quite quiet. So we're heading up towards where the anteaters are now and we're going to have a look at them and some more capybaras. So we're now in the giraffe house here. As you can see, these are absolutely incredible majestic creatures here. Look how tall they are. Go and see his head. Looking really, really good. Look at that one. He's so inquisitive. Or oh, she, I'm saying he. It's very presumptuous of me. I don't know. But absolutely amazing. Robin's favourites. How are you liking him? There he is. Hi, giraffe. Oh, it is a he. It is. I can confirm. Oh, he's going out now. He's had enough. Poor thing. It's so big, though. And there they are. This is, uh, I'm not sure what sort of giraffe this one is. No, it doesn't say. So he's absolutely lovely. It's so big though. And there's some little bits of information here about the, uh, the giraffes. There's a giraffe's anatomy there with all the bone structure. And there's little things there like the giraffe's heart is two foot long and weighs 11 kilos and beats 170 times each minute. In contrast, human hearts are the size of a fist and weigh between 240 to 25 grams and beat 60 to 100 times a minute if you didn't know that. They've got 32 teeth and the skull is reinforced to absorb the impact of necking fights. So if you don't know what they are, so basically when they're fighting with each other, uh, they swing the neck round into each other uh, and that's how they fight with each other because they can't give a good old right hook. So yeah, there's all sorts of lovely information here about giraffes and Robin loves giraffes, they're Robin's favourites. <laughs> Oh, and he's come specially across to see her as well, which is nice. Like a kindred spirit. Well, you are, because you've got a long neck and you're also tall and... I've got a long neck. I'm and you're also like yellow. Are yellow? No. Um, beige-ish. <laughs> well, they might be getting confused thinking you're one of them. Uh, yeah, that's not part of the attraction, Casper. Don't touch that. Um, <laughs> oh, God. So, there's 30 species of giraffes once lived on our planet and there's now the two that remain. Oh, sorry, giraffidae, whatever that means. I might, it might not seem like it in here, because uh, they're in here because it's raining. However, outside there, they do actually have a really large enclosure, don't they, these giraffes? It's really good. And the thing is, you can do a, a feeding experience where there's a, like a raised jetty where you go on and you, uh, you can feed them from up there, and it's not too expensive. Is this where, do we feed them from here, or do we do it from somewhere else? No, we fed them in the car in West Midlands. Ah, Safari it was West Park. Midlands Safari Park, wasn't it? Yeah, of course. That was, that was incredible. They just had to stick their head in the car there. <laughs> yeah. they? So you ended up with a, uh, a giraffe's tongue in your crotch when you was uh, <laughs> driving around. Um, yeah, giraffes. One thing we just noticed is when they swallow, it's really, really creepy because you can actually see what the contents of whatever they swallow go all the way down the neck. I don't know if you just caught that then on camera. It's very strange though. I'll just uh, film when you can see it again. It's just really bizarre because you can just see Whatever, all the contents of whatever they're eating actually go down the neck. Oh, Dad's blocked it off. Can't show you now. It's the outside of the giraffe enclosure. As you can see, they followed us out. They've come to say hello. So we were just inside that area, just where the kind of uh, uh, bit of fencing is there. And uh, 
And this one's come out to say hello from here, which is really, really nice. So as you can see, they've got all this area here, which is a tiny little bit here, but he's going through the gate. He's just showing you now. And all the way down there, uh, in the distance, past uh, uh, where that kind of pagode thing is. So they've got loads of room to be able to play in. Uh, and this is where you can do a bit, I think you can do a bit of an experience here, where you can go and meet them as well, which is quite good. Um, it used to be further up that way, and used to be a bit of a platform thing that you could go to. Um, but yeah, they, they have got loads of room, and it is good, it's nice to see, to be honest with you, because they've had the troubles, this park, and it's really nice to see them onward and upward, and uh, really moving on, and making a good home for them. You know what are you doing? Nana. Oh, right, okay. So that's me told. Um, Nana then. There's a tape here. That is because I was holding apples earlier, so you can probably taste uh, <laughs> smell the apple on me. Mm. So Kaya, the female, wherever she's gone, she oh she's side oh of course she is. She really enjoys a good chin scratch. She'll close her eyes and tilt her head. Then she'll sit down for you to tickle her chest, and then she'll roll onto her back for you to tickle her mm. belly. Um, <laughs> Pinto hasn't quite found the joys of. Uh, getting a good scratch yet, but we're working on it. Oh, uh, baboons just caught them going in there. There's still plenty from outside yeah, there. Yeah, not baboons. But they've got loads of room all the way down there. It's really good. It's too wet for them out here. Oh, they're coming back out. Here they come. Here they are. You right, no, dude? When you said they were baboons, they're not baboons. They are baboons. They're monkeys. They're baboons, thank you. Yeah. Is Carry on being cheeky, your bum will look like that as well. <laughs> look at that one, that second yeah. one. Look at that second one's bum. Look at that second one's bum. Look at that second one's bum. Look at that one. That's what Robin just said, they're all trumping as they're coming look. out. Letting off a bit of gas, they're all running down there. You see over there, Eden? That's where they all are. There they are. Oh, we're in carnivore country, so we've got some rules now. Don't touch them, don't put your fingers through the fence, don't cross the barriers, and don't sit or lean over the barriers, because you will get eaten. Casper, that one applies to you. So as we head down here, the, the rain's, well, I was going to say eased up a little bit, but it seems to have uh, uh, picked up again. Down here, there is a snow leopard. So let's see if we can find a snow leopard. Here's an arctic wolf. I'm going down. Looks like one of the mates is actually injured down here. I don't know if that's what is, uh, is up. It is moving. Let's see if we can find out. There's mates going down to have a look now. It's horrible weather here. We've just seen the Arctic wolves. They were all the way down that way. Uh, we can't see the jaguar. There's a jaguar, there's a snow leopard. They're all in hiding. The male lion, he's there. Um, he's braving the cold and the wet. Well, it's not cold, but it's the wet. It's absolutely awful. But he's got a big enclosure, so it's all the way up to the top there. You can see the top of the Avery all the way down that bottom end. So he's got plenty of room there. And he's just getting up as well. There he is. There is the lion. What a beast he is. And here are the, we're in a primal enclosure. So this is a Colombian spider monkey that's here. He's a very friendly looking uh, monkey he is. See him there? Let's make him out there. And that is a, a white-handed gibbon that's in there. They're very cute. Oh, look at him. And these are Eden's favorite, aren't they Eden? You like the monkeys. Yeah. So we'll get down here. It's just nice to be inside. Oh, these spider monkeys are having a bit of fun here. There they are. Oh, they're, they're having loads of fun. I don't know why they want to go outside though. They're sort of stuck going outside there. Oh, and some more of them here. Oh, he looks like he wants to go out. Bless him. There he is. What an incredible monkey he is. So amazing. Oh, this gibbon's come to say hello now. Look at that. It's amazing how up close you can get to these gibbons. Oh, 
It's so good, isn't it? They're really cute. Yeah, there's loads of more running around in the background there. Not none of them there. No takers were going outside there. Absolutely lovely creatures. We go outside because a few of us have gone outside now to start playing out there. Now we're at the penguin enclosure. You can see the monkey one's really, really good. I couldn't show it too much because it's raining so much over there. And they're all inside as well. But here's the penguins, they've just had something to eat there. Seagulls are coming to try and steal it all there. They've got a nice little enclosure here with a bit of water and a little rocker in little caves there as well. Yeah. Here goes the penguins, they've just had a little bit of a run down here. There's been a few of them that have fallen down. Done a bit of commentary on that. But they, it's just a bit mean because all the seagulls have just come and sw uh, swooped and nicked all the food. But the uh, penguins don't care, they're having a good time. You can just see over there actually, the monkeys are outside now. They're up in their enclosure there. They're having a good time, they don't care about the rain. And the uh, penguins are enjoying it too. I'm not, it's absolutely, I'm absolutely soaking. I feel like I've been on Valhalla again. Come on penguin. Goes. Whey! You got in. Well done, penguin. There's a new enclosure here. here. And this is honey badges. They've got a lovely little run that takes them all the way over the top there into this new building. This was once the train station, which took you on a loop all the way around. So where you can see the stones there, that was a, a part of the track as well. So we'll go have a look at the honey badges. So they can run for up to 18 to 19 mile an hour. It's quite quick. Can we see? Oh, yeah, he's there. It is quite dark, so you might not be able to, be able to pick him up. But there he is. This little white mohawk. Aww. Aww. Very cute, isn't he? Well, it looks almost like. Oh, he wants to come across. <laughs> he's wanting to come. Ahoy! Yeah. Hi, I want my there he is. I think he's hungry, you know. Out of that, he's listening to Slipknot. <laughs> so we've made our way into the gift shop now. It's a lovely little bit of theming as you come in with the, uh, the jungle setting. So I'll have a look at what they've got in here because they do have quite some nice uh, um, little pieces. Casper's found some. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's the monkeys are 15 pounds those Casper, so they're a bit more than what you've got. They do tend to have some really nice ornaments and some quite cheap, and we've picked some up quite cheap in the past from here. There's that stuff for red pandas there. I mean, in terms of uh, pricing, the mugs, uh, they're not actually on there. Uh, so th those mugs, that's £11.50 for that one there. They do have a lot of stuffed teddies and toys. Not a lot in the way of actual uh, merchandise from the actual park. Which would be nice if they did start having some stuff from the park, because I do quite like stuff with the uh, um, merch name on there, because I think it, when you go somewhere, it's quite nice to take a memento with something with the name on. You get yourself a didgeridoo as well. Didgeridoo? Or did you don't? Oh, look at, look at this mug. There's a mug here with a giraffe's head as the handle. That's very cute. That's 9 99 That's cute. I bet Robin will be taking that. What have you seen? Oh, well, how much is he? These are new as well. So having the, the jumpers, the t-shirts and the hoodies. So the hoodies are £35 and these t-shirts that are here are £25. Which is uh, really good. Oh, I quite like the pink one as well. It's quite good. So, uh, yeah, it's nice that they've started doing that because they didn't used to do that. <laughs> That's the end of our afternoon here at the South Lake Safari Zoo. And we've had a good afternoon, haven't we? Yeah, we're all absolutely soaked. Absolutely but... soaked. I mean, we didn't see all the animals, I have to say. There's things like tigers, there's okay. the snow leopards. We saw the monkeys, didn't we? We saw the monkeys, but there's plenty that we didn't see because of the weather. But it was a great couple of hours. How much was that today? I think it was about £20, but I bought it through... Planet offers. So through Planet offers, £20, and it's not bad for a couple of hours for a family of four to come down and uh, spend the afternoon. You can spend the entire day here, and there are a couple of restaurants to uh, eat at as well, uh, but it's just been so wet. Um, I don't know if uh, um, yeah, the camera's got water all over it or whatever, because it's that wet, but we're going to go and dry off. That's it from us now. Uh, has everybody had a good time? Yeah! That's it from us. We'll see you in the next vlog. Bye!